Hey everyone, it's Jamie from Independent Street NOLA and Seasons and Ritual, and I'm here with my good friend Helen, Hi. the Crimson Cadaverous, and we are here for our Celestial Weekly Chat. Yes. Um, from 116 to 122. Yep. Um, and we were just talking how Capricorn season. Lots of work. Lots of work. Yeah. It's been lots of work. Yeah. Even with um, helpful planets. Yes, definitely very helpful, but we have still had to, you know, kind of roll up our sleeves and get into the nitty gritty. Yeah, and... that's a great way to put it. Yeah, but it's good. It's felt good. It's felt like we're actually moving something finally. I agree. I agree. And so this is the last week of Capricorn, Capricorn season. season. Yeah, that by fast, actually. <laughs> I feel like it too. Yeah. Even with this Mercury retro. Mer Mercury retrograde. Yes. Yeah. Well, I was thinking because I was like, wait, it, it turns direct this week as well. Yes. Yes. That's a yeah, spoiler alert. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank God. Um, okay. So let's get into it. So um, Monday is the 16th. Yes. Happy Mar Martin Luther King Day. Yes. Happy um, MLK. So on the 16th, the moon will be in Scorpio. Yes. Um, at the same time, it will be conjunct the south node because yes. if you guys remember, Scorpio is in the south node. Or yes. you say the south node's in Scorpio. Yes. 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 Um, so South Node is in Scorpio right now. Mm -hmm. And so when the moon gets there to that same point, they're going to merge energies. Mm -hmm. um, and South Node is already about release. Mm -hmm. Scorpio is about transforming through release. Yep. Um, moon is about our feelings. So feeling like we can release. Yep. Feeling like we can let something go. Right. Um, and then, of course, anytime we have, you know, the moon in conjunction with the south node, that means we're going to have an opposition with the north node. Mm -hmm. So it's like we're kind of looking across at the direction we're supposed to be moving in. Mm -hmm. And we're just letting stuff go that isn't ours anymore. Right. So yep. this is good that Scorpio, I think, releasing like... Once again, secrecy and like... Yes. Um, and squaring Venus at the same time, which I feel like means like anything that doesn't align with our values. Yeah. Releasing it. Yeah, release like it. Ours. Yeah. And ask yourself, do I need to keep up the charade? Right. The charade. Yes. yes. We do not need to keep the charade up no. anymore. No. And so just feel like you can let it go. Mm hmm Okay. Tuesday, the moon will still be in Scorpio. Yep. And it will be squaring... Saturn. Saturn in Aquarius. Yep, Saturn and the great teacher, teaching us lessons. And that is Aquarius' ancient ruler. Yes. Um, so I think for that, I feel like it's going to be, once again, um, part of that release. Yes. And seeing, like, like if we're holding on to some sort of idea or some, some sort of feeling that's not keeping us stable moving forward, Yeah. then we need to let it go. Well, and that definitely the sextile with the sun and Pluto mm -hmm. around that same time definitely speaks to that because the sun is our true self. Pluto is transforming to become our true selves, mm -hmm. essentially. So it's like, yeah, very harmoniously allowing us to release yeah. the things that aren't ours. That's great. Um, and the sun and Pluto will be in Capricorn. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you guys know it's... Capricorn season, so the sun has to be there. But. Yep. Um, and then the moon will move into Sagittarius. Yes. So a yeah. little bit of fun after all that work we did, you know, with the deep transforming of Scorpio. Yeah, with that and coming out Monday. Snow, yeah. And, yeah. Which I also think is really interesting that it is coming in on MLK Day. Yeah. And like releasing maybe some old karma. Uh, old paradigms. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I like it. Okay, so then Tuesday, I mean, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday, yes. The moon in Sagittarius. Yes. What's the big, okay, what's the big deal on Wednesday? To me, I feel like uh, not so much what the moon is doing, but mm -hmm. what Mercury and the sun and Pluto are doing. <gasps> what? So Mercury is stationing direct. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, and I yeah. feel like that's just, we've had that. Like last week we had Eris and Mars stationed direct. Yep. This week we have Mercury stationed direct, and then, you know, spoiler alert, Uranus at the end of the week. Yeah. But we're just having all this forward-moving energy after having a time of just, like, kind of stagnant I reflection. Mean... Really back. going over things. Yeah. Yeah. And mm. that's, again, what we do with Mercury. We go over things. Yeah. Because Mercury talks, <laughs> uh, speaks to the mind. Yeah. Um, and, you know, if there have been snafus that have come up specifically with technology. Mm -hmm. It's not because everything's screwed up. No. It's because we're meant to reflect upon how we're using these tools, how we're using this energy. Yep. So, you know, I, I had something come up for me actually one time during a Mercury retrograde where I could not post a post. Like, I could not make uh -huh. it happen, could not make it happen. And I ended up having to try a totally different way to do it. Uh -huh. And it turned out to be a much better, faster way. Oh, I like it. So it was like, yeah. oh, okay, yes, this was extremely I'm, frustrating in this moment because I'm like, can I just post this stupid thing? Right. 
but once you let it go right once decided. i went back to it i found this much better way of doing it okay like so this. anytime you feel that frustration during really any retrograde but definitely mercury i mm -hmm. think it's like why am i frustrated what am i supposed to be learning from this yeah just remember that through your um silent screams yes or tears because it's not it's not just um it's not just chaos right there's, there's method to the madness yeah there's something we should be learning yes Okay. But so Mercury stationing direct, so on you know, those things we've been kind of milling about in our mm -hmm. head, we might start to move a little forward with it, where it's not just spinning the wheel so yeah. much. But same day, Sun forms a conjunction with Pluto. Mm -hmm. And you know, Sun is our true self, Pluto is our true self through transformation. Mm -hmm. So when those two energies merge, I think authentic to the core yeah. is the best way of explaining it is we're going to have to be authentic to the core and i think that too is just um also talking about all the work we have put in that maybe you haven't seen or felt because we've been in this retrograde once it starts to station direct like it's gonna you're gonna start seeing your hard work pay off basically yes. with all the work you've done on yourself and maybe your surroundings around you mm -hmm. so you guys just stay in there and remember conjunctions close yes so the sun will be very close to Pluto, right. mathematically, right. right. Um, in that sign of Capricorn, which is work. Yeah. Okay, so Thursday, Moon and Sag. Yeah. Um, we'll be sextiling um, Saturn and Aquarius. Yeah. So I still still feel like that's fun energy. Yeah, I feel like that's like easily setting boundaries. Yeah. Easily, you know, dealing with the restrictions we've placed upon ourselves before. Like it's. Mm -hmm. It's well, not going to feel as hard to work through those things. It's also going to be, you're going to feel more comfortable speaking them yes. because Mercury has turned direct. Yeah. So when that boundary comes up, you're going to be like, yeah, actually, this is my boundary. Yep. And, and it's, it's it. going to feel like natural. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yay. And then by the end of the day, the moon moves into Capricorn and we've got some very grounded energy, you know, to yeah. end Capricorn season with, actually. Right. The moon moves into Capricorn. Yes. Which is so nice because the sun's been in Capricorn mm -hmm. and now we're ending it with the moon in Capricorn. Yes. Um, and so this is when things get kind of crazy. Yeah, to crazy me. in a good way. Right, because like, it's yeah. like... It's starts to pick up so friday the moon as we said will be in capricorn because it moves in um, on thursday right um it will be conjunct mercury yeah so the moon and capricorn will be having a good combo yep. with Merging mercury energies like, yep. hey, what is, what's going on now mm -hmm. i saw how you handled that way to go yes and then you'll be like well thank you yes thank you and i think they're definitely both you know having a conversation with one another just about maybe what come, came up during Mercury retrograde. I think so. And maybe how we feel about it and how we need to move forward with that. Yeah, and did a good job working yeah, on it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And again, it's forming a trine with the moon's north node and Uranus, which suggests we are moving the direction we need to be moving in. Right. And that it is going to be different yeah. than it was before. Yep. So just know that. Like, even if, like, you are doing kind of the same thing, but you're thinking about it differently... That makes all the difference in the yes. world. You and know? that's definitely the Mercury retrograde is we're rethinking some things. Yeah. And now, um, and then Friday, the sun will enter Aquarius. Yes. So Aquarius season. Yay. Yay. It's my birthday season. Yay. Yay. Yay me and all you other team Aquarians. <laughs> Oh, there. yes, we all have Aquarius in us. That's true. That's yes. true. Um, so the sun will enter um, Aquarius on Friday, mm -hmm. and then immediately following on Saturday, we have the new moon in Aquarius. Yes. And so hopefully you guys are starting to see these new moons are coming immediately once the sun enters these signs. Right. So keep with that theme because we're, it's going to change here in the spring. You, yes. You, when you and I were talking about that. So, yes. But back to this uh, new moon. Which this new moon is, I, I really like it. I think it is a really, really forward moving moon. Mm -hmm. um, new moons are already about moving forward, yeah. starting new things, duh. Um, Aquarius, of course, yeah. is a forward moving sign. Yeah. Um, it's all about the future. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I think it's uh, definitely going to have a lot to do with moving forward is because of that conjunction with Pluto. Right. And so, once again, conjunction's close. Right. So the new moon which is the dark moon, mm -hmm. is speaking to Pluto, yes. which is death and transformation. Yep. And it's in Aquarius. Yep. This, this idea of Aquarius is, is thinking. So keep. Yes. And so Pluto basically is just saying like, all right, what's the baggage you are still carrying mm -hmm. that is just almost going to make you late for the plane that right. you're trying to get on, you the, know, because you're carrying around your this new baggage. life. Yeah. Yes. 
Your new like way if of you're thinking. carrying around like all these stupid rolly suitcases yeah. that are falling apart and stuff, like you're gonna miss that flight. Right. So Pluto right now is like, all right, let me take that baggage away from you. Go and off this, on and your just way. Just drops it into yep. the, the pit. Go off on your way. Yeah. You know, and that sextile to Jupiter mm-hmm. actually, I think it's just making it all really, really optimistic. Like right. this optimistic feeling that we can move forward. Right. Because um, Jupiter is luck, gifts, faith, yes, prosperity. Right. Yeah. And, and, and it's in and Jupiter is still in Aries, and Aries is the initiator. Mm-hmm. So we have, I don't want to get people confused, but we're like we have fire energy with Aries. Yeah. We have um, water energy with Pluto, yeah. and we have um, intellectual air with um, Aquarius. So this yeah. is good, guys. This is bringing in all those um, uh, elements, if you will. And the moon would be in Capricorn at the beginning of the day, so that is some Earth. Yeah, so we've got all the elements here covered. Um, I think it's actually a really balanced energy to move forward with. I think so, where too. Where I think we're... We're going to find, you know, because again, the moon starts in Capricorn at the beginning of the day. There mm-hmm. is some grounding to the day. Yeah. And it's like, you know, what is it? Who was it? Casey Kasem that said, you got to keep your feet on the ground, keep reaching for the stars. Thank you. Like, Thank you. I, mean, I feel like that's yeah. kind of that energy okay. where we're going to need to remain grounded, but we are still reaching for the stars. We yeah. are still moving forward. Yeah. And that, that's kind of what that reminds yeah, me of. Yeah, I like there. that. Um, thank you, Casey Kasem. Yeah. You know, the Maybe. late great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then Sunday. Um, the moon will still be in Aquarius. We yes. are in Aquarius season. So, yes. yay. So lots of a, that Aquarius, you know, yeah. um, energy going on. Mm-hmm. And same day, mm-hmm. uh, we got a lot going on with Uranus, which R- is the ruler of Aquarius. Yes. So we've got Uranus stationing direct. Right. It's been uh, retrograde since August, I want to say, of last year. Seems a long like, time. Yeah, since 2021. Two. Two. Yeah. Yes. So like okay. six months or so, five yeah. months, something like that. Um, we're squaring the moon. So the moon's in Aquarius, mm-hmm. which of course is Uranus based. Mm-hmm. And we've got that moon squaring Uranus. Mm-hmm. And we've got Uranus stationing direct at the same time. Mm-hmm. So again, that Aquarius Uranus energy, I feel like, is been building kind of all week. Right culmination here at the end of the week of like all right we are moving forward we are accepting that the future is yeah. here we're going with it yeah your brain might hurt this day yeah it's okay that's okay yeah just be aware like you could have some brain like your brain just might be like i can't keep thinking like this anymore right. mm-hmm. like it's like there's got to be something new so allow that like yeah really pay attention to what you're thinking pay attention to the questions you're asking yeah and pay attention to what people are telling you and if you think it's real or not right this is a big deal Uranus is the cosmos um it's like you said it's Aquarius's future modern ruler Mm -hmm. um and so that's where we get our answers from yeah and so it's also like there's more answers and there's more questions yeah so it's time to start thinking differently and I think we have a period of some really Forward moving, yet using that information mm-hmm. um, that we've gained along the way period mm-hmm. coming up with once you're on a station direct, mm-hmm. we are going to have all major planets direct for three months. That's until great energy. April 21st. That's great. It's really great energy. But I do want to say it is definitely that kind of energy where we're going to want to take deep breaths mm-hmm. and stay grounded because it is going to kind of feel like we're going to be like, all right, now we can oh. do everything. Now I get it. Yes. Yeah. But we can't do everything all at once. No. So we're going to take the press, stay yeah. grounded, make sure we're still remembering our foundations. Yeah. And I do think um, I could say yes or no. But I mean, whatever. I guess Mercury's still retrograde right now because I can't yes. hear my thoughts. Um, <laughs> um, because it is, like you said, it is important to know, like, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. Right. Yes. So you just stay present, stay present, yes. stay present. Take we're each day at a time. We're definitely going to have to do that. Um, Sunday, the same day that Uranus stations direct, um, the moon in Aquarius will be trining Mars and Gemini. Yes. And the reason I bring that up is because Aquarius is air, Gemini is air, and that Mars there, right, is that masculine, yes. which moves, mm-hmm. is that energy of moving. So that's a lot of speaking too, right? Yeah. That's like, okay, we can get things done. And Gemini is options. Mm-hmm. And so a lot of options, you might come to you. That doesn't mean you have to, you know, do them all all, right or not do you you can do deep breaths right it's up to you who you are 
um, see where you are that day, what yeah. makes sense that day. Mm -hmm. Because it's squaring Uranus yep. and the North Node. The Moon will be squaring yep. that Uranus and the North Node in Taurus. Taurus is that Earth. Yeah. So that's going to ground us. Mm -hmm. That's going to really ask us, what is best for me right now? And it's probably not going to be what's best for you six months ago or maybe even a week ago. Yeah. It's important for you to ask yourself what's best for me right now. That's interesting that you bring that up because I'm realizing that Mercury is trining the North Node on that day, oh. but repeating a trine that we just experienced yesterday on the 13th mm -hmm. when Mercury was retrograde. So we're going back to that same exact placement, Mercury mm -hmm. trine North mm -hmm. Node, but without Mercury being retrograde on that the Sunday. That was great because yesterday, which was the, thir the 13th, 13th, which yeah. I like that day, I was kind of gaslit. Yeah. I'm kind of gaslighty all day. I think, so I think I like a to, week I later, mind. it's yeah. going to be a little more clarity on I, Okay, I would things. love it. I would love to yeah, revisit again. And I, I think so. And so oh my God, and look at this. We've got Venus conjunct Saturn that same day. So Venus will be very close to Saturn. Yes. Both in Aquarius. Both in Aquarius, very discerning intellectual energy. Mm -hmm. Venus is Stability. our value system, what we yeah. find beautiful, what matters to us mm -hmm. in life. Saturn is how we build foundations and yep. structures and boundaries. And I think it's like we cannot move forward with values that aren't right for us. Yeah. And doing things that aren't right for us based on false values. Based, based on false values. And I want to just say, like, we have moral compasses. Yes. And it might not be what the world says, but I feel like it's, it's ours. Yeah. Yeah. And we are going to go back to that. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I feel like there's some just natural laws of nature. Yes. That you know, that we have as humans. That we will just gravitate towards. Back towards because yeah. we have to. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think and so. this isn't like brimstone and fire shit. I'm not no. talking about that kind of stuff, but just like I think the opposite of that. Yeah, yeah. like normal human y just natural flow of the earth. Like yeah. flowing with the earth because we're yeah. on the earth. So we should flow, flow with, with the earth. earth. And you True. know to finish all that out. Mm -hmm. We've got Jupiter conjunct Juno on the same day. We've got all this. Our like, sweet Juno. Yes, and I think Juno, I think we're meant mm -hmm. to understand Juno in a completely different way. Yep. I don't think she's just about relationships and romance and, and stuff jealousy. like that. I think she's actually about commitment. Mm -hmm. And not just committing to another person, but committing to yourself, committing to the universe, committing yeah. to what you believe in. And yeah. Jupiter's right there merging energies with Juno. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Juno Juniper. <laughs> <laughs> telling us almost like go big or go home like yeah. commit to it or yeah. get the hell out yeah it's like, time it's time to commit to, yeah to ourselves that's this uh, age of Aquarius yeah you know? and like going back to like normal human earth yes commitments like normal I want to say like North Star type stuff but I don't I don't know I might not be making sense Mercury <laughs> so retrograde yeah um, get back to basics yeah get back to basics thank yes. you we like, definitely need you. that and I think this energy is going to move us there. I think it's like we're moving towards something brand new. Yeah. But it's actually really, really old. Yep. Because it's going back into like this new way of like just, I hate to say new Almost way like of thinking. Almost like a horseshoe. Yeah. You know, like we're going all the way back to the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Where maybe we already had it figured out. Yes. Like with a lot of things. Where we just looked up in the sun and we knew it was time to do something. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. It can be that simple. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that again. Because we, like you said, we're clearing out this age Pisces. We're clearing out, um, you know, the, the illusion. Yeah. This whole week is about clearing out because the moon is waning for most of the week. Yeah. And we're just out with the old and the new. Keep detoxing. Yes. Definitely a detox. <laughs> I like Keep it. Keep detoxing. It's a good week. Yeah, I like it. I'm yeah. really excited about it. So you guys just take it one day at a time. Yeah. Capricorn breaths. season, Mercury retrograde has been sort of a cock punch yeah. every day. It's been, it's been good. It's been low. <laughs> it's been okay. It's been good. It's been yeah. So We don't know if we're coming or going. No. Something's happening. No. Like we're drinking coffee. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, yeah. It's king cake season. Yay. So. Yeah. Happy carnival. Yeah. Happy carnival. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or Helen via our Instagram or YouTube channels. Yes. Um, or even you guys can email us um, or, or reach out to on my website. So, um, happy last week of Capricorn season. Yes. Happy um, Mercury Stationing Direct. Yes. Thank you, Universe. Thank you, Universe. Happy yes. MLK Day. Yes. And happy Aquarius season. Yeah. Happy okay. life. Happy life. Yeah. All right, you guys. See you next time. Bye.